down Prime Minister Gordon Brown. The British press and others think he got shabby treatment by President Obama during his recent visit to the United States. Here are a few examples they cite. There wasn't a lavish welcome ceremony or reception for Brown at the White House, nor was he greeted by the president or anyone else of authority upon his arrival at Andrews Air Force Base. There wasn't a joint news conference, as is quite customary. There was no overnight stay at Camp David. President Obama blew off Brown's address to Congress, and Obama sent back to the British Embassy, get this, sent back to the British Embassy a bust of Winston Churchill that's been in the Oval Office for the past seven years. And one, what was most striking was the contrast between Obama's treatment of Gordon Brown and the way that President Bush, and before him President Clinton, used to treat uh, uh, Tony Blair when he was Prime Minister. They'd have these press conferences, you know, with all the flags and everything after each meeting, and there'd be trips to Camp flags. David. It, 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 it was really remarkably different. And I think there, it was shabby treatment of Brown, and I think I know why. You know, the, the president humiliated him because he thinks Brown doesn't matter much. Brown's probably going to lose the next election, and the conservatives and David Cameron will take over. Uh, there's that, and look, obviously England is a declining power, and the, and the president's concerned about rising powers. Well, let me just say this to you. I think the British are, shall we say, persnickety or maybe prissy. <laughs> of course they what are. are they what are they getting so upset about? They got nothing to worry about besides this. Look, he came in the middle of the week, so he's not going out to Camp David. And believe me, if you're not the Pope, I don't think any president goes out to greet anybody at Andrews. So I don't know what they're getting all so upset about. Why? The fact is Why? You're look, such an anglophobe. I had <laughs> look, yeah. I, look, if he wants if he wants a good relationship, let the relationship Take some time, let them get to know each other. But this kind of behavior, the British press, mm -hmm. you talk about tabloid <laughs> excess. This is like a husband and wife. Yeah, Please. One, yeah, yeah, but wait a minute, one more thing. Why did the press secretary, Robert Gibbs, have to say, well, no, I didn't, I didn't hear uh, uh, the prime minister's uh, speech to Congress, and he, I don't think the president paid any attention to Gordon Brown's speech to Congress. And besides, the White House didn't send anybody up to Congress to hear the speech. I mean, that was gratuitous. Well, maybe it was the fact. Well, I, that's true, too. Yeah, but, it was the fact. Just tell him. Yeah, Sorry, did, didn't did he hear need it. to say it? Well, oh, oh, look, are you going to be that sensitive? Uh, what? What? Come on now. I, of course, I am. <laughs> I right. mean, that was gratuitous. All right, don't go anywhere. The buzz is coming right up.